hello in this one i'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom button here and then connect that button to an event that you are going again to connect to a server event where you are going to be able to write your own server side uh, code to do whatever you like to do so i'm going to go to frappe documentation and when you go to frappe documentation you can just type here uh, on the search bar uh, something like custom custom button and here you see there are various types of custom buttons i'm going to go with the first one and i'm going to select this one so when i copy i ju i'll just copy this code then take it to my to my to my uh, patient or js file here this js file came with a patient uh, uh, module so i'm just going to scroll down the patient doc type just scroll down and add your own uh, this is frappe.ui.form.on this is patient uh, patient this takes in the name of the doc type and then let me just remove those remove those also then uh, clear this up let me just exit this thing quit okay so i'm going to change the name of this button to something like um something like uh action one this one you can name your button whatever you like to name it and this is the name this is when you need to create multiple buttons here uh for instance i can just call this action action because i'm assuming that you like a button here which says action and then when you click on it it has a drop down like this one like for instance this one with the multiple buttons where when you click on one each of these triggers a different function depending on the way you program the backend so that is why i have called this action and then this is my button one and when when i save this already as is and i restart my server and then I also refresh the browser here. I should see a button here, assuming that we don't have errors. Very good. Here we have an action, and when we click on it, we have action one. If we needed to create another button below this, what we just need to do here is to copy. Uh, let me format this code better. Uh, okay, all right is to copy all right okay is to copy this button as is and then paste it down here and i can call this action two all right save it start my server uh, refresh the browser and we should have action one and action two under the actions here action one action two very good so we are not interested in action two today so we are going to remove this button we are just interested in one and what i would like to do here is when i click on this button i would like to trigger an event okay so i can just uh here instead of doing this i can say something like uh just to see whether my button is being called uh i can console log and say the button is clicked okay see if this go back to the bro to this uh to the terminal start and start the browser and refresh the browser and when i inspect here uh, and i click on the button very good the button has been clicked so you can see when i click on this button it notices that I have clicked the button. Very good. So we can go ahead and now start writing our code here. So one thing that you realize is that once you have this button here, you are able to access the form, uh, the form, the form that you are working on, right from this place as just FRM. So if I say console, what's that? on sol.log and then i say log the form and i start the browser again
I will log a lot of data from this form. As you can see here, I have the doc type. Opening it, there is a lot of stuff from this form that has been logged here. But today I will be interested in in the today I'll be interested in the selected doc detail here. So this selected doc is what I'm interested in. So if I come to my form here and then I say selected doc, so log the selected doc. Uh, selected doc selected doc yeah refresh this and also refresh this if i console log that i'll get only the data inside of the selected document so here i can see the customer is Geoffrey, the email is that one, it's the, patient, the doc type is patient, and so many other details about this patient, all right? So if I want to access the email of this patient, I'll just say, I'll just add a dot email here. So I can just say here dot email, okay? So console log form dot selected doc dot email. This will give me the email of this patient. So refresh and refreshing here, go and there you go. Here you have the email address of the selected patient. If I go to another patient, as the end, if I go back, we have Steve here. Uh, let me see the, the email, this is the email. If I go back one more time, I have test check we have the email if i go back one more time we have kevin test we have kevin okay so we have the emails we're able to get the email of the logged in patient and that, just like that you're also able to get so many other things so i can just come here and say let patient email be that and also i'm going to get the patient name so I can say uh, the patient name with this dot name. I don't know whether we have that. So console log. Let me see whether we have the patient name. Uh, okay. This is JavaScript, so we can end that. Uh, all right. Okay. So go back here. Refresh. I just want to see what it will log when I click on this. It's supposed to give me the yeah correct the ID. This is this is what ERP Next uses as the as the as the primary key. So go. We have Steve and you have Geoffrey. Very good. So we have them. So I, I'm just showing you that you you're able to get as many details of any form that you are on just like this. And then what I would like to do now. With this, I would like to send it to the server. And the server, we, we are going to write a function inside the api.py file. This is a, a, a file that we created ourselves with only one function. So we are going to create another function here. And I'm just going to say define and uh, call it whatever you want. So let me just call this um, awesome. Uh, some awesome code or whatever you want to call it doesn't matter and this function is going to take in some arguments so these arguments are going to come from our form here and then here I can just say something like let me just print the arguments and then I return true for now let, let me just leave it as simple as that so coming here I need to make a call to my function all right so how we do that again we have frappe calls so you can just come to frappe documentation and do frappe.call and select the first one frappe ejax call and here we have a number of them i want to go with the third one which is saying calling white listed functions so i'll just copy this this code as is copy and i'll paste this code here I'll paste that code, that code there, intent that, then I'll remove this comment, I don't need it. But basically this comment is telling you that this is the dotted path to your 
server method and this is not our server method so the server method we need to be calling is the method we just wrote here all right so how we are going to get to that is we are going to go to our app which is erp next and then we are going to say dot healthcare this is the module health h l t h healthcare and then we are going to have to have here the doc type and then the doc type you are going to say is patient and then inside the patient doc type we have our file which is api and then inside that file we have our function which is that healthcare okay so this is now correct and here we are going to get have a callback let me just console log again and log r this is going to come from our function so whatever is going to be returned here is going is what is going to be logged inside here because this is a callback so again in this callback you're able to do whatever you want to do all right let us first of all see whether we are hitting our our we are hitting our our function here and we are returning anything from it even before we pass in arguments inside here so let me restart my server and then i refresh here and check we have an error we are we are told that we are not permitted yeah and that is because again if you want to be calling functions within frappe you need to address them so just say frappe dot white list so th this is a good sign already because this this shows that our, our function is working it's trying to call this but when it gets here it realizes that this function is not white listed and so it throws that error that you just saw so refresh that again hoping this time it will work and give us a uh, true here uh, go and we have a message telling us true this message is a callback so our code has worked it has hit our ap our, our function here and it has also given us true and we come to the when we come because we have this print message here we, when we come here we are going to see that the the app also tried to print something and it has printed this it has printed this cmd with erp all that detail has been printed by this print statement so now let's let's add some arguments to our our function so that we are able to see how we are going to send the data now to for processing by our function so how we do that just below this method before the callback we are going to give it some arguments and how we do that we just say args and then we give it this dictionary and we say we can, let's just pass these two because this is what we have for now it's just for demo purposes then we can also pass the patient name and there we go so we have these arguments now passing going with our fun uh, inside our function uh, the patient name and the patient email so inside this print statement these args are also supposed to add where it had printed this one we are also supposed to see here the patient email and the patient name so let's go back confirm that we have done this well correctly so we have arguments yeah so let's just restart our server and refresh here and uh hoping we don't have an error and actually we do so going back here i think we needed to add a comma there refresh start this again uh refresh and this time yeah our code works click here here we have a message says true and here we have the patient email the patient name and that so this is getting to our server now this has come from this print statement here the print statement the print statement inside our server which is this so if we said here instead of return true if we told it to return args we are supposed to have a console log because of this console log r we are supposed to console log the details that have come from the server so if i start that again and i refresh here 
we should see after clicking that we should see these details logged here very good so we have patient email and patient name these have come from our server here this return statement so very good so now when you are here the data that can be accessed again if you want to access the maybe the only the patient patient let me just copy paste this if you want to only have the patient i don't need that patient name you can just get it by by saying by saying here ags dot get and then you tell it what you want to get and this one you want to get the patient email so patient email correct and then also when you want to pass this of course the other one you get the same way so patient email and now we pass the patient email in the in the args in, in the return statement here this time we expect to see only the patient email all right so for processing purposes if you want the patient email maybe you want to send an, an email to the patient or whatever you want to do with the email this is how you're going to get it let's just test and make sure it is working so refresh and go we have an error saying yeah we have something here this is arguments ARGS, not whatever he had written there. So go again. And this time we should get it working. Hopefully. Go. Yeah, very good. So we only have the message here with the patient email only. This has been sent from this uh, from this. And, and therefore, when you need the patient email, the patient name, anything else you need to pass from this form form method, you remember you're able to access anything within that form with this, then well and good, you can pass it as arguments to your function and then you can process it here however you want to process it. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next one.